Welcome to the demo of the Naval Architect 2 Books Pro version. Compared to the free version, it's got some additional functionality and three more commands. So one of the um, improved functionality is that it can write all the results to file. So let's just demonstrate this on this trimaran. Okay, so we just start the analysis, select the hull surface and in this case we want to draw a graph and results file and I'm just going to skip to 20 sections. Alright, so that's it. It came up with a message that it found more than one hull. So that's a um, capability that the new free version also has. So the free version can also analyze multi hulls but it doesn't write the results to file. So, okay, so here we've got the area curve. Let's just move it up a bit. And you can see a step here, which is exactly where the outer hull starts. Oh, in the area anyway. Um, so yes, so the, all the results are for the combination of both parts. And let's look at the results. It should be this one. Okay. There we go. <coughs> so all the um, hydrostatics are there. And additionally it has all the section areas as well. The next improvement of the pro version is an additional command called hull heal. What it does is it calculates all these values in a range of heal angles and yeah, at every heal angle it balances the hull, makes sure the center of gravity lines up and the displacement is as specified. Okay, so let's just try it. Okay, we stick with our 20 sections. The heel angle increment, let's use 5 degrees, and let's go for 18 increments. So that's basically from 0 degrees to 90 degrees heel angle. The displacement. Um, okay, and now let's just select the proper center of gravity and the hull surface. Okay, the first step it does is it actually balances the hull zero degree heel angle and now it iterates through all the other angles. Results are continuously shown up here. So sometimes there's some errors in the model but they should be pretty good. Okay, so we're up to 50 degrees. It takes a while. Okay, the last one. Okay, so all done. Great, so now we've got 18 halves. Each one of them is balanced, so let's just check it. Let's use the um, regular hydrostatics tool in Rhino. Let's just analyze this one. And yeah, this placement is 6.5 tons. And the center of buoyancy is at 7300, roughly. Plus minus 1.5 millimeter. So that's exactly where I specified it. Okay, now. We've got a heap of results, and because it's impractical to show them in Rhino, um, they're written into a file by default. Okay, so this basically shows all the um, hydrostatics at every analyzed heel angle. So it's very easy to plot the writing moment curve. Just do that. Ta-da, here we are. And, and all 
and so the section here curves. Like this. Values. There we go. So this is the one at 45 degree here angle. Okay, and you can also, for example, um, plot a graph of uh, weighted surface area, which is this one. Okay. Alright, so there's yeah, an here somewhere. Alright. Let me show you the mass capabilities of the Naval Architect Toolbox plugin for Rhino. The mass analysis works via applying mass properties to the materials. And you can assign three different mass properties. One is the density, and every solid will be multiplied by, by the density. Uh, area mass is for surface objects. And point objects can have a point mass applied. So this model contains the hull, a couple of bulkheads, a cabin saw, and a point for the engine. And the bulkheads, some of them are solid objects, and the ones here in the back are just surfaces. Okay, let me show you how to apply material properties. So you Click on the button, you select the object, and it asks for the density. So, area mass, and because we got one point object, we say zero. Okay, the other way to assign material properties is directly into the nodes window, so all material properties are stored in the nodes. So let's just assign a point mass to the engine. Two hundred thirty kilos. Okay, and now the engine doesn't actually have a material assigned yet, so let's check it. So it fails. Assign material first. And materials can simply be assigned by the layer or by the object. Let's do it by the layer. The um, material property assigned to the object has precedence over the layer. So you can overwrite it easily. Okay, this should be all okay. Good. And let's analyze the model. You click on another button, you select the whole model, and press enter. Okay, so that's the result. Total mass is 1.206 tons, and the center of gravity is shown here, and a new point is created with the location of the center of gravity. The materials can be stored to a file and therefore if you want to reuse the same material for other models you can just um, import the safe materials simply via this button. So you can easily create your own material database. That's it for the demo. I hope you find the new tools useful and that they speed up your design process.